All right, well, let's get into it. Got the box here. First one ever. There's my name. Blacked out the address. This is so exciting. I've bought like... I don't know. 10 graded cards, so I have some. But, uh... This is the first time I've submitted. Sent them into SGC, and they were back with me in two calendar weeks. So they lived up to what I expected. There's the paper. Sweet. So I sent in 13 cards. I didn't really pre-grade what I thought they were going to get, but I only submitted cards that either they're going to get a good grade or it's just an old school one that I wanted to have in the awesome black SGC case. These are just PC cards. I've got a whole stack of baseballs that are about to go into PSA. Uh, and then a bunch of footballs that I'll send in in a couple months getting ready for training camp. Try to take advantage of the annual rhythms when people are spending the most. But this stack right here, it's staying with me. I'm talking to one of my creative friends about building a display case. Oh, I like how there's rubber bands holding it together. Nice quality delivery. I'm stoked already. And we want to do a slow reveal. So I am going to use this new Kettle Marte. 29 of 50 auto. Love the guy, love the brand. Stoked to get that. Now I just hope he can deliver along with all the young talent that the D-backs have this year. Speaking of, Mr. Corbin Carroll. Little Bowman's best auto. All right. Oh, we need another cover card too. So let's go with this Jameson Williams. Okay. We've got a Hank Aaron, 1975. Try to cover the score. Oh, there we go. Three and a half. This is one of those ones that didn't expect a great grade. The corners are rough. That's good eye appeal. But, you know, by this point in his career, it's nothing fancy. I just love him, love having a card of his that has that eye appeal. Bad start, though. Oof. All right. Next up, Roger Maris, 1963. Four and a half. You can see my fingers are sweaty. Yeah, you know, I mean, the centering's off. It's a little rough, but again, great eye appeal. It's one of my dad's old cards that I love having. He was a gigantic Mickey Mantle fan, but also just a big Yankees fan. So he passed on five years ago this April. So it's a nice piece of memory I have for him. And I'm not going to block the back anymore. Let's just try to cover the score. So got the Yankees card. I don't know. This is probably going to get a two with a crease. Yep. Oh, well. I love it. <sighs> what do we have here? Oh, the Paul Molitor, Alan Trammell combo rookie card. I bought this on eBay a couple months ago because I thought it looked like it was in good shape. 
So let's hope it got something decent. Shut the front door. Minimum size not met. Did I buy a fake? <laughs> that sucks. Ugh. All right, let's move on to the make. Got a four. Love this card. You see it all over the place. It's just a beaut. And my dryer is done, so you get that audio in the background too. So is the four the best grade? Four and a half so far. <laughs> Scotty Pippen better have gotten a good grade. Come on, homie. Let's see what we got here. Eight and a half. Little centering. Left, right. Not horrible. Not going to be great on the resale market. Which is why I sent it in for my personal collection. All right. The infamous bow. Just learned that this was in an Adidas ad and the card creators of score were like, Let's, we got to use that image. And now it's iconic. All right. I thought that might get a 10. Little bottom to top. Fine. 9.5. Would have been nice. Neon Neon. Not a fancy card, but I love him. Love a baseball card with the football gear on. Let's see what we got. Nine. Uh, well, I guess my first submission. I'll learn where I can get that extra point, but I thought this one was pretty damn good. That good centering. Whatever. All right, now this is my favorite player growing up until I heard that he did a lot of bad things off the field. But I still love the old cards. So this is, actually, we're going to keep that one. That's the 83 traded rookie. So I think this is, what, 84 rookie. Oh, they have two cards in there. We'll do that in a second. Let's do the 83 traded. Come on, baby. I've been keeping this well kept for a long time. So, bitch. Left center centering. Left to right centering. That bad. Oh, corner. <sighs> well, again, not doing it for the sell value on these SGC. That's why we're doing those for PSA. Those are a special set. Then 84 Donneris. Eight. Come on, y'all. I know it's not my dog hair. Centering a little off. The print lines are... His name bar is a little messed up. Still a dope card. All right, Strawberry's getting a lot of eights, and he gets another eight there, and they returned two of these cards. Y'all know if I get a discount? If they don't grade? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Since this is my first video from round cards ever, you can check out my personal YouTube channel for mostly music, full songs of dope concerts and festivals. They even look at them. All right, another eight on the strawberry. Okay, I'm gonna look at that order slip real quick. Hold on. 